In this corner of the exhibition, uh, we're going to first take a look at a couple of works by the East German photographer Evelyn Richter. Uh, what we see here first is actually a self-portrait of Miss Richter, uh, where she has uh, represented herself as a sort of half-robot, half-human cyborg being. Uh, so in this way, um, Miss Richter, when taking this picture while she was in photography school in Dresden, definitely did not fit the mold of the, what was expected of a, an East German artistic photographer at the time who was um, more inclined to uh, present works that were in line with socialist realism and the representation of uh, socialist citizens uh, in their society. So um, this might give you an idea of what type of artist Miss Richter was. And uh, not too long after the staging of this photo in 1952, uh, Miss Richter was actually expelled uh, from photography school uh, because uh, of her uh, individual expression not lining up with these tenets of socialist realism. So after being expelled, she actually had to start a career as a freelance photographer with no degree. Um, so we can take a look at some of her later works. Uh, these are a series of photographs uh, taken in the 1960s and the 1970s. Uh, these were commissioned uh, for the East German publication Neuss Deutschland. Um, and what you can see here is, at first glance, uh, these are uh, photographs of workers, you know, and that is uh, a typical expression of the socialist realist photography field. Um, and through these expressions, uh, the photographer Evelyn Richter uh, was able to comment on her own uh, personal views on society uh, through uh, the lens of these uh, photographs of the workers. Um, so upon closer examination, uh, these are not your typical representations of workers through socialist realism, uh, where the worker is arranged almost like a superhero, uh, very uh, content in their work, flaunting the latest technology, very idealized landscapes. Um, in these photographs, these are more true to life. Uh, these are more um, accurate, everyday representations of workers. Uh, some of these workers are very tired, fatigued. Uh, in the way that uh, Evelyn Richter arranges uh, the workers at times, it looks as though uh, they are becoming one with the machine, as if uh, the worker does not have autonomy outside of the machine. Um, another worker is uh, behind a, 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 a gated uh, ticketing uh, window, and in that way, it's almost as if the worker is encaged. Um, so in this way, Evelyn Richter was able to comment uh, on society uh, through these particular arrangements of workers uh, in their space. Um, I also want to highlight uh, this painting uh, that we have right here by Doris Ziegler. Uh, this work is called Rosa Luxemburg. Um, and at first glance, this is also could be interpreted as a socialist realist painting. We have uh, our workers in action. Uh, but uh, Doris Ziegler uh, was an artist who worked more in the surrealist realm. And, and in this portrait, uh, Rosa Luxemburg uh, actually fused a bit more of these surrealist elements uh, with the socialist realist worker uh, representation. So upon closer examination, uh, some of the elements of the painting don't necessarily add up uh, to a true socialist realist portrait. Uh, for example, uh, on the bottom of the painting, we have something that we would rarely see in a socialist realist portrait, which is the scraps of production. You have those metal shavings at the bottom. Uh, like I said before, socialist realist uh, worker portraits typically were highly idealized, and you would never really see the scraps of production. Also, uh, the workers themselves, uh, you know, these are not uh, you know, model-esque portraits. These are very everyday uh, looking models. And in this way, um, you know, they aren't highly idealized. Uh, they are actually average people. And they're looking straight at us at the same time. Uh, you know, my personal interpretation is it's almost with an eye of suspicion. Um, and to back that up as well, if you look to the left side of the portrait, uh, there's also the high wooden fence uh, blocking incoming view, and then also even further in the background, uh, we have these dead trees kind of foreboding uh, back there. So um, whereas this is um, 
a representations of workers in action in the same way Doris Ziegler uh, put her own spin on this, um, hybridizing these surrealist elements with the socialist realist elements.